Hello everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk World's Talk Show presented by Glickovy Creatives. Today we have Mr. Karan Gandhi with us. He's a young uh, legal profession professional, uh, and he is the founder and promoter of Karan Gandhi and Associates. He's practicing extensively in the field of civil litigation and arbitration, and along with a uh, non contentious matter including in the field of conveyance team conveyance uh, and other ancillary matter relating to property matters he has also been associated with numerous non government organization and other social platforms as a legal advisor we very often get uh, young professionals like mr gandhi on uh, our talk show uh, and this is one of those time when we are going to have uh the understanding of legal fraternity from a very young man's perspective so without further ado let me introduce you to the man himself hi karan welcome to the show and how are you doing thank you thank you for giving such a warm introduction it feels immense motivation it gives me immense motivation to be on lex falcon i mean that's that's uh that's so kind of you to mention this but i guess uh, whatever i read is what you have done and is doing so uh, that is yes. i'm just i'm just sort of narrating and trying to put things in yes, uh, yes. my yes. words for you so again thank you very much for getting some time uh, out of your schedule for us today uh, I, Karan, i tried my yeah i i tried my level best to cover things about you in uh, uh, my words but uh, it would be great if we can hear something about you in your own words so if you can brief us about your legal journey so far sure so i am a very young gen loyal uh, lawyer i have completed my llb in 2019 and then i went for masters in london which i completed in 2020 so till then i have been working as a civil lawyer totally into litigation high court and bombay city civil court matters and extensively in civil and arbitration and fortunately i have been getting very positive response from my client and as well as from the court i have been i have dealt with almost 15 to 20 matters till now in high court and almost 50% of them are decreed in the consent term in my favor and some are ongoing which are again in my favor hopefully and i wish that my career to be pro- progress in this manner and that sounds like music to my ears mr gandhi and uh, kudos to you for this uh since you said that you are a young uh professional uh, if uh, we can understand about a very recent interesting or a complex legal issue that you worked upon and uh, what if you can describe the complexity around it and how you really approached it correct so uh, there are a lot of complex issues going on in mumbai right now but to uh generalize one it would be difficult but then i can tell you one of my recent case which uh, i have been uh, working on and uh, litigating in high court wherein i am for a developer who has got majority rights development agreement has been registered in his favor but somehow the competitor developer as prima facie what i feel is falsely registered another development agreement in his favor so this is a very complex issue because if a development agreement is registered already you cannot register another development agreement in the same schedule of the property so i have lost a, a suit in high court and hopefully on the reopening because uh, till 5th of november there are diwali vacations going on so on the reopening i feel this case would have a great controversy in this bombay high court i mean that's 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 really wonderful uh, uh, i have a very very interesting question what do you choose litigation or arbitration uh see both of them has different uh, perspective but to choose one is difficult because there are uh, pros and cons in both of them but of course arbitration is more a dignified litigation it has more advanced technologies used and lot lot of people like there are uh, laws uh, treating arbitration differently and 
it is very less time consuming so of course arbitration is a uh, very client friendly and of course advocate friendly too so i would choose arbitration a little more than what uh, another court matters are it's been quite a controversial question for you i believe uh, but but a good answer to that uh, moving further from this uh, current uh, as you said that you have you have uh, completed your uh, masters in 2020 a uh, while uh, the pandemic was hitting all right. of us okay. and in during that time uh, we all saw you see courts begin moving towards more uh, remote proceedings and availability from a very young lens what do you think is this a possible way to increase access to justice what's your opinion on this so uh, it is Uh, you can say a alternative way because we have no option at that moment but to deal with matters and f- with remote justice but that cannot be a future because there was a order from bombay municipal corporation to not take any adverse order but that cannot be taken for a longer period of time because there are a lot of illegal constructions going on in mumbai because i am practicing in mumbai so i am aware of what's happening in and around mumbai or maharashtra you can say so i think that would not be suffice the justice because if illegal demolition illegal constructions are being erected which needs to be demolished for the infrastructure development so for time being that was okay but i don't think it has a future to have a remote justice for that uh subject okay uh, do you think it also eases the process for both lawyers and uh, the individuals i mean if one has to appear in different uh, session courts uh, it eases the process for them uh, when it comes to remote proceedings uh of course uh it does but then if you have a final argument of any matter if there is a entering order is going to pass then you have to uh, argue finally then i have practically faced a lot of trouble during that time because either of either side of the internet network is weak and you don't get to argue what you wanted to argue and you cannot try to sort of explain judge what you are trying to say because of the network issues you can say so but yeah uh, if you, a person wants to take an adjournment for any issue for any problem or if you want to mention some urgent matter it is the perfect way to have a remote uh, argument a virtual argument you can say but then if there is a matter where you have to argue finally which takes a long a lot of time then i think person a uh, one to one interaction is must I mean that's very right. Like you said actually, uh, technology is good only when it works. Correct. So, uh, <laughs> and because uh, it was a sudden pandemic for all of us, I think unfortunately the uh, technology was not up to the mark. Wherein because uh, I have seen a lot of not only me but a lot of advocates were facing network issues from either the high court, like the court side, or the advocate side. I mean that's and that's that's lower not, courts in lower courts in uh, Mumbai are not uh, gifted with the uh, technology for having a virtual hearing. So if a matter is in lower court, then you have to have appear to, uh, practically. And that's that's one way to look at it. Uh, my another question is, uh, w- how would you rate the current legal systems drive? towards encouraging access to justice and is there a gap in justice and if there is what's the tangible movement in closing the gap our legal system is planned in such a way that every person should get justice beat it, it's rightly said a criminal is not a criminal until proven so in our legal system everybody is getting a chance to prove themselves but uh that if there is i feel there is no gap but uh, only the question arises the time period because i have seen a lot of time when 
a person who is not guilty on documents or on marriage but still is in behind the bars for a longer period of time because the matter is not being heard so very often it is seen the matter is getting listed but cannot reach to the judge because of backlog of the courts so i feel only the time period what is there for the person who is guilty and the for, for the person who is not guilty should be decreased and some sort of solutions should be given to the uh, person for having a hearing of an urgent matter or person who is behind the bar for a longer period of time there should be some gap between that situation yeah that's 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 very rightly put uh, uh mr gandhi i also believe that you see you are a lawyer of uh, our generation if Correct. i put it that way yes. uh, and we are all about technology yes and in the era of legal technology which ironically came along with pandemic and we are standing in the middle of uh, the legal tech era i assume that you are using you must be using a lot of uh, tools the legal tech tools uh, and if you are what are the what are those uh, co- most commonly used tools for you to ease the process so i would say you you might be aware the brief of a litigant lawyer who is practicing any court is almost 4 to 5 kilos in weight so i have been using this uh, surface hp surface which is like a laptop wherein you can get all your data and all your uh, papers in the relevant matters in a uh, soft copy and when you go for an argument you just have to take your surface and you can mark you can do you can circle any important point you can directly go to that page where you want to argue or where you want to show uh, the lordship or the judge so i am using this surface which is very techno friendly and which is very useful because i i don't have to turn around the pages each and every time when uh, judge ask ask any question or if i want to say something to the judge so this is very techno friendly you can just go to you can bookmark a page you can just go to and you can search any word or any page you wanted to uh, read out before the judge so i'm using that uh, uh, surface of uh, hp that is very mm-hmm. techno friendly also now the time has come where everything is can be done uh, via emails so i have advised all my juniors and all my staff to have a soft copy as well as hard copy sometimes if my surface is not working i have the option of hard copy hard papers but most of the time i'm using the surface wherein i get all the papers of that particular matters on my surface and i can get all the annexes to plus the judgments which i wanted to uh, put it before judge on my one device which is hardly a kilo in weight so i don't have to carry the papers each and every time i have to go before the judge for an argument mm-hmm. are there any other software tools that you are using uh not really but i am using of course i have my own uh, website as well but most of the time i use a gmail website because you get a google uh, storage on the gmail wherein you can store any number of data on the on my email id so which is very useful for me to even if sometimes happen that if my junior wants to go for uh, mentioning or wants to take any adjournment they just have to open their email id and they get all the papers on their email id mm-hmm. mm-hmm. okay fair enough fair enough uh, and uh, karan you said that uh, there are more than 15 cases is uh, what you have worked upon recently and all of them are going on a on a positive side the ball is yeah. in your court if i may call it that way yeah. yes. uh, so it's it's also in, in a when you are new to a profession or rather i should say when you are sort of entering a profession in a you know a year or two it is hard it is very hard to understand the importance of time you know you don't get it and right. as they say time is money in any profession and in legal it's most of all 
Correct. So how do you ensure to make the best of your time as a lawyer? Uh, to be very honest, uh, practically in Mumbai, it's very difficult to manage time because of traffic. <laughs> you see, if I want to travel to uh, the other side of Mumbai, which you can say South Mumbai, where uh, majority all the courts are there, so it's very difficult for me to travel. But then I I keep my schedule in a way where I have practically kept my schedule in a way that Monday to Thursday is only for courts and my client meeting, which I have in another office in town where between the high court and city court. So I have scheduled my uh, diary in a way where Monday to Thursday is only for court hearings and for uh, client meeting who are residing in the other part of the Mumbai. And the remaining Friday, like on weekends, I keep my schedule in a way where I can only deal with my clients and only chamber work. So, it's of course, it's very difficult to uh, manage my timings. But then I, I have already advised my juniors to take the dates of the court between Monday to Thursday so that the, my chamber work, which I, which I do on weekends, doesn't get hampered. That's that's a fair approach. Being in a play, being in a city that never sleeps. So yes. uh, <laughs> that's that that that's really wonderful, uh, Karan. And so far, this has been a lovely session. Uh, my last question to you is: Where can our viewers find you to get a hold of you? Uh, so uh, my office is in suburb in Mumbai. Also in town. Also, I'm active on Facebook on social media website and uh, I think I have mentioned my address in this uh, my bio data mm -hmm. which I have been mm -hmm. given to. so you can find me there and also my mobile number is so I am active on phone calls 24 by 7 my phone never sleeps like Mumbai city <laughs> Good, that's, that's really wonderful uh, Karan thank you very much uh, for the session today and uh, we are taking a lot of nuggets uh, from this session uh, from a from a young lawyer's perspective. Hope our viewers also enjoyed the session. I uh, generally did. And we look forward to having a chat with you again uh, sure. in the future on some other trending topics in the international legal industry. Definitely. I would love to. I would love to. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And for our viewers, if you uh, like this chat with uh, Mr. Karan Gandhi, I want you to like this video, to share this video, and click on that red button to subscribe to Click of Victory, this YouTube channel to appreciate what we do. And you have more coming in from legal industry leaders, from young leaders like Mr. Karan Gandhi. This was Sagar for Lex Talk World signing off.